Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect Copilot to Grafana. This connection will allow Copilot to create and provision dashboards for your customers uh, to create new Grafana organizations, create new data sources, and a lot more. So under connectors, I'm gonna go, gonna go ahead and select update. Here we need to specify our Grafana URL. Grafana is listening on HTTP on port 3000, which is uh, the default Grafana port. So if you have changed this, then you can just reflect that in your configuration. HTTPS is also supported as well. Here I'm specifying either HTTP or HTTPS. Uh, my domain name for Grafana, this can, have, this can of course also be an IP address and then the port's listening on. I'm gonna set my uh, username and password copilot is going to be implementing a lot of administrative level features. It's going to be creating organizations, provisioning dashboards, creating data sources. So it needs not only administrative rights, but also it needs to be able to access all organizations. So under my users here, what I'm going to use is just the default Grafana admin user that is created. And if I go ahead and select this user, you'll also see that the permission of Grafana admin is also set to this user. If you do create another user account for Copilot to use to connect when it connects to Grafana, do make sure it is a Grafana admin so that it can access and modify everything within all organizations within your Grafana instance. I have my username here as admin, so I'll just replace that username and then I'll replace the password with the password for this user, select save. And then a verification check will be ran and we now see that the Grafana connection is verified. With Copilot connected to Grafana, we are ready to take advantage of more Copilot features, which I will show you guys in future videos. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one.